I'm Moody Boo the Fragrant Nomad and I'm back with another single perfume review and don't worry my vacation haul is coming. Two of the bottles that I ordered were on back order and so I'm waiting for them to get restocked. They're going to be sent to me. I suspect everything will be here beginning of next week, end of next week, somewhere in there. So either the next video I post is going to be my full perfume vacation haul or it'll be the one after that. I just don't know. So um, anyway, but I'm continuing on because I have a hearth full of perfumes to review. And this one had been requested a while back that when I showed my haul, somebody was like, oh, I'd love to hear about this one. And I always planned on reviewing this one because it's gorge, gorge. This is Milano Fragranza and this is Panettone. Panettone? I'm assuming, I think, with the romantic languages, don't when there's an E at the end, don't they pronounce the E? So it wouldn't be Panettone, it'd be Panettone? I'm going with it. So somebody from Italy can always correct me. This one I got in the hall prior to my vacation hall. And um, I had sampled it first. This was not a blind buy, but what? This is going to be the perfect holiday scent. I know this is a weird time of year for me to be reviewing it, but here's my thoughts. Where I'm from, the PNW, the Pacific Northwest, summer started late here. So um, we're just starting to get into the warm weather and we're going to blink and summer's going to be over and fall is going to be coming. The days are already getting shorter, folks. Winter or summer solstice has already happened. So now the days are getting shorter. So fall is around the corner, which means the holiday season is also around the corner, which means you need to start preparing for your perfume list of fragrances you're going to wear on the holiday season. And this is one I'd highly recommend. Now, when I first sprayed it, the first time I've worn it, well, for still, I, I still get the same impression when I first spray it, just the first five minutes or so. And it's not going to sound very appealing <laughs> when I say it, but you gotta, you gotta delve deeper into what I'm saying. So when I first spray it to me, it smells like fresh baked fruitcake. So I know everybody hates fruitcake, but they hate it to eat it. Have you ever, my grandmother used to make it and she didn't make it with those jellied candy crap. She'd make it without actual cooked apples and um, nuts and dates and things like that in it. And it was this gingery dark kind of bread, um, almost a cake between a cake and a bread. And I know most fruit cakes are horrible. Um, that, that candy jellied fruit stuff in there just ruins it for me. It's a texture thing along with a taste thing. But even those, when they're being baked, smell really good. It's the spices, it's the bread, it's the ginger that's in there, the molasses or whatever, honey. This smells like fresh baked or baking fruitcake. That's about the first five minutes. That doesn't last too long, but it doesn't go away. It just, other additions come into play and join the party. So the next stage for me is fresh baked fruit cake and flat Coca-Cola. It doesn't have to be Coke, it could be Pepsi, but a cola and a flat one. Why I say flat? Because there's no effervescence to it at all. So if anybody's ever truly smelled uh, uh, a flat, warm, cola of some kind. I don't think it really matters as long as it's not diet. You'll know what I'm talking about. There is a smell. It's sweet, it's spicy, but it doesn't have the same smell as when it's cold and bubbly. And so to me, it's a combination of fresh baked fruitcake and flat cola. I know that doesn't sound very good, but it's really good. And it truly reminds me of Christmas. And Thanksgiving, even though we don't really eat fruitcake at our house anymore. My grandmother passed away 
Chi Chi is long gone, and so no Chi Chi and no fruitcake. So we haven't had any in, well, it's been over a decade since she passed. So, um, but I still remember. I, and I'll tell you, this, this, this got me a little sentimental. I miss the Cheech quite a bit. She was a hell of a woman. You kind of want to know what's in it, huh? And I'm going off a of Lucky Sets. Now, I'm going to tell you what Fragrantica um, people that have tried this, what they think is the most prominent notes, and then I'm going to tell you what I think. So it's bitter orange, mandarin, ginger, carrot seeds, divana, rum, everlasting flower absolute, tajit seeds, vanilla absolute, and vinyl gayacol. No clue what that is, but... Um, Tajit's is kind of the spicy note. Everlasting floor, flower is the same as Immortal, if I'm not mistaken about that. Kind of has a, a, a tobacco-y, hay kind of um, grainy. Really, it's a wonderful smell. I love that note. Now, people on Fragrantica have voted that the rum, the bitter orange, and the vanilla are the most prominent notes in this. Not for me. Not for me at all. You definitely get the fruits. Again, fruitcake. Um, but those kind of come back. The ginger is really prominent, not Ani by Nishine kind of prominent, but it's prominent. But it mixes with the Tajits and the rum and the bitter orange, and it just makes this really decadent, kind of a spicy, desserty, fruity kind of an aroma. And for me, the rum is really a backseat driver that nobody listens to. So um, it, it really wants to drive, but everybody in the front, to me, the ginger and the Tajits and the vanilla and the bitter orange are all saying, yeah, no, shut the hell up. You're in the back seat for a reason. We're in control. So I, I, that's my impression anyway. Now it doesn't have a big trajectory. When in the very, very deep dry down, I think a little more of that immortal comes out. The Tajit is still there. It gives it that spicy, kind of that Christmas spice kind of a, a feel to it. The rum just adds this kind of heat to it that mixes so well, I think, with the spicy Tajit and some of those other notes that that's why I can't pull it out and it's really well blended. But I cannot distinguish it between the rest. And I don't think of a cocktail when I smell this at all. I definitely think of a food. To me, it's definitely on the gourmand side and I can definitely say definitely, at least definitely 10 more times. Now in the deep dry down, it goes to more of a plum pudding kind of a, an aroma for me. So it goes from fruitcake to fruitcake and flat cola down to a plum pudding. And a plum pudding is kind of a fruitcake. It's kind of what I described Chi Chi's fruitcake. Um, it's got all that rich, decadent, um, dark kind of breads in there with the ginger and the molasses. And, and it's got some uh, dates and things like that in it and some nuts. Um, <clears throat> but it also has this kind of sweet, buttery caramel dressing or a sauce that is poured over the top of it. And this kind of reminds me of that, with just, it's, it's almost like you're eating the plum pudding, you've just eaten all of the caramel sauce off the top, and there's just a hint of remnants of that caramel sauce left, and you're digging into the plum pudding, warm plum pudding. All of these foods are warm. There's no chill to this, there's no bubbly to this. There is no ambiguity to this, in my opinion. This is straightforward Christmas, fall, winter, colder temps, colder climates kind of a perfume. I'm not sure how it would do in heat. I stay in the air conditioned places though. I don't do heat. I have a very narrow range of temperatures that I'm comfortable in. It's about 60s to 80 and then I'm done. Anything past those two is too much, too much. So I don't go outside and hang out too much, but if I do, I'll have to try this. But I have a feeling it would bloom a little bit, but I could be wrong, but it's, it's pretty sweet. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's gourmand, it's earthy. It's really a beautiful perfume. 
and um, it's mid-range. Um, I'm reading off a Lucky Scent, and they're selling it for 140 USD. This is a 100 ml bottle. And look at this bottle. Bam. Bada bing, bada bam. And it's got a bulbous top. I'm not crazy about bulbous tops. Sprayer's good. Nothing to write home about, but it's a good sprayer. And I've got a thing about colored glass. I love blue, red, green. It doesn't matter. But blue is just one of my favorites. The way the light can pass through the blue glass is just... I don't know, maybe it's a Hawaii thing, reminds me of Hawaiian waters, but who cares? So um, the performance is really good for me. I get eight to 10 hours off, off of two to three sprays. Um, <clears throat> it projects well past arm's length for a good fur, fur, for a good hour or two maybe, no, maybe an hour. And then it comes in about arm's length and then it might come in a little bit, but it's one of those poofers for me. It doesn't become a skin scent and then, you know, it's gone. It just, again, I'm smelling it, smelling it, I detect it. And then I'll suddenly realize I don't smell it anymore and I'll go to smell it where I sprayed it and it's gone. But like I said, that's like hour nine, 10, something like that. So it's well worth the money to me. And if you're into Christmas kind of scents or you're looking for something to check out for Christmas, you should really check this one out. It's intense though. This isn't one I would consider a signature scent, not just because it's pretty year specific, you know, what time of year you can wear it. It's very unisex, um, but it's more because it's super intense. It, the smell itself is intense to me. And I think that sweetness, I think if I wore this too often, it'd be, it'd go the way of Ani by Nishine. It'd just be too much for me and I'd have to put it away for a while. So now that I'm done testing it and everything, I probably will put it away until this fall um, or winter and then I'll bring it back out again because I don't want to get tired of it because it is pretty sweet, pretty intense, a very specific kind of an aroma in my opinion. But I do love it. I really do love it. <sighs> anyway, Panettone by Milano Fragranza. All right, I guess that's it for me. Oh, that was loud. I guess that's it for me. I'll be back soon with that, that vacation haul. It's crazy. I, I don't remember how many bottles I have in total because, like I said, they haven't all come in. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm at 25, 26, something like that. So, and they're good ones. Can't wait to share them with you. So don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell and comment if you want. If you don't, it's all good. I still love you. And use your own nose. Peace.